So let's continue cleaning things up. The site is really starting to come together, but it's still got a few random things. We've got this sample page here. We can get rid of that. And we can create a blog page as well to host all of our blog posts. So what I'm gonna do first is go over here to the admin section. Make sure you log into your admin section. And then I'm gonna go over to settings and then go to reading. And this is where you can kind of designate what you want your home page to be and what you want your blog page to be. Okay, so this is cool because we can basically have our own custom site for our brand or our client or you know even your own like resume or portfolio site, but you can have a separate personal blog kind of uh, page in there that indexes all of your blog posts. So the way we can do that is like this. Go over here and say, okay, we want to designate our front page to be home since we created that. And we don't have a blog page yet, so I'm gonna just save this. And if I go over here now and I click on this home link, you'll notice in the URL there's nothing after that. There's no trailing forward slash and then anything after that. So this is now my home page that we created. And then I'm gonna go back over here and go to pages and I'm gonna create a blog page. I'm just gonna say add new. I'm not gonna put any content inside of it, but I'm just gonna call it blog, just like that, and hit publish. Okay, now if I go back to settings and then reading, go to that reading sub menu under settings there, I can now pick out blog. And if I save that, and then I go back over to pages, You'll see it has this label next to it. This is our posts page. This is where all of our blog posts will go. And home is now acting as our front page. And if I click this, right click on view there and hit open link and new tab, I can see, okay, here's my blog page. But now we have a few issues here that we can kind of sort out. So let me explain what, what's going on now that we've done all this. What's happening is that when you go over to your settings section over here in the admin section and you click reading and you set your posts page that's going to fall back to using the index template this will serve as our posts page and right now this is what our template looks like and there's a few issues right now with it number one the footer is one problem but number two our sidebar is kind of just showing up at the bottom so let's address that if we go over here to our index template and we can fix that pretty easily. We know how to use Bootstrap at this point. We go over here and we say div under that container there and we say class and set that equal to row. And then we wanna put this entire PHP loop, which is all of this code, we wanna put that inside of the row. In fact, we want the sidebar in there as well. So we'll go down here and add the closing div. And now we can tab all of this inward one level. And then we'll add one more div in here for our column structure from boot clap, bootstrap. So in here we'll say column and we'll say medium size, eight columns wide. And what we'll do is we'll put the loop content in there and then the sidebar we'll put on a four column structure. So I'm going to grab that, paste it here and change that eight to four. Because again, I've said this many times, Bootstrap operates on a 12 column grid system. So four plus eight will equal 12. Now I need to close this div here. I know there's a lot of divs here and it's easy to kind of get lost. We want to tab this inward and we want to tab all of this inward. We'll get rid of this extra line there. Okay, so that's what your file now should look like from header to footer, it should look like this. So if I save this now, okay, save my file, make sure your server is running, and then I'm gonna go over here and refresh. There we go, now we've got the structure of a blog. This is starting to look more like a blog. Okay, we do have these hard-coded in here, this a single blog post thing, that's why we keep seeing it repeated. So we can change that around. If we go back over here, what we can do is remove that hard-coded HTML that was just there to see how things looked. And we can put each title as an H2. 
for each of our blog posts. Grab the closing tag of the H2 there that gets auto-generated by Cloud9. Put it on the other side, just like that. Okay, so if I save that now, and then I go over, remember you can pause as much as you need to to make sure you have your code looking exactly like this. Okay, I'm gonna save that, go over here and refresh, and there we go, we got rid of that hard-coded text. But we did have a problem, which was that the footer was kind of having this weird cutoff thing. If I scroll here, we're seeing that the footer kind of stays where it's staying. So we can address that like this. Let's go over to our style sheet. So inside of our custom theme folder, we'll want to go to style.css, double click that. And what we'll do is change position from absolute to fixed so that it's a sticky footer. You can approach footers in many different ways. There's many different ways to kind of create a footer, but we're going to have it stay as fixed. And I'm also going to go up here. It's 60 pixels tall. So I'm going to go up here at the very top, and I'm just going to say body. And we'll just say... margin bottom 60 pixels to compensate for the height of that footer. So if I save that, then I go over here and refresh. Let's see if that problem happens anymore. If I go kind of scrolling up, now it's working properly. So if this was a much longer page and, and the content of this page, this content got to the bottom, this footer would stay where it would stay and we'd get this nice scrolling action like that. Then we'll go over here and add padding bottom 60 pixels as well. So if I save all that, go back over here and refresh, what'll happen now is when I kind of have a longer page, I'm simulating a longer page by scrolling this up, but if my page content is really long, if I scroll, I still get some extra space down here, and that's because we've added that extra 60 pixels of padding. Okay, so there we go. Now, there's one more thing I want to change. These titles don't link to our blogs. We have no way of going to each individual blog post right now. So we can do that pretty easily. Remember, this blog page here now is pulling from our index template right here index.php. So we can change this title to be more like a linked title. And the way we'll do it is like this. We go in here. We'll remove these H2s for now. And we can kind of rewrite it like this to have the H2s inside. So we'll say in here S-P-R-I-N-T-F and then in parentheses, make sure you get your parentheses count properly in there. We'll say in single quotes, H2, and then double quotes there, entry, title. This is just kind of how the default themes do it. We can put whatever class name in there that we want, but I just put entry title. That's what the default themes do if we want to use CSS to control the titles. And then in here we'll say anchor tag, href equals, and then we'll say percent s, then rel equals bookmark. And then single quote there, and then we'll say comma, and then here's a safety feature. We say escape underscore URL, and then get underscore permalink. And watch those parentheses. There's a lot now here. We'll space them out, and then comma, and then close it with an anchor tag, and an H2. And we want to make sure that we put this, put this parentheses actually right here. 
sorry, put an extra parentheses right here, like that. Okay, so that completes that line of code. So look at that, that's a pretty long line of code. Make sure you pause your screen and get that exactly right. You wanna make sure you use single quotes and double quotes properly here. Okay, so if I save that now, and I go back here and I refresh, there we go. Now, each of these links to the individual blog post. So this is kind of a functioning blog section of our website here. Okay, so we can go back like that. And let's do one last thing while we're here. We'll change this nav menu so that it looks a little bit better. So we'll do that next. 